your question is find the set of values of x for which x square minus 3x is greater than equal to 10 and x minus 5 square is less than 4. First what we have to do just bring to your left side this value. So here it will happen like this x square minus 3x minus 10 is greater than equal to 0 now. So now we will solve by middle term splitting by taking not greater than equal to we will take equal to. So here it comes as what x square minus 5x plus 2x minus 10 that gives you 0 now. Now here x is common here you will get x minus 5 here plus 2 is common. Again you will get x minus 5 that gives you 0. Now the two factors are x minus 5 and x plus 2 that is equal to 0. Now we can say that x is equal to 5 or x is equal to minus 2. Solve this also first. What we will get? Here you can see x minus 5 whole square is less than 4. Just keep it in mind. We will not write inequality sign. We will write equal to. Here it, is, it will be x minus 5 whole square. That is equal to 4 now. So what is your x minus 5? That is equal to we can say plus minus root under 4 that is 2. Now we will take first time plus and the second time minus. So first is your plus 1. So you, we will get what x is equal to 2 plus 5. That is equal to 7 now. And if we take minus, what we will get? Minus. Here we will get x is equal to minus 2 plus 5. That is equal to 3 now. Now what we will do, just we will go for see the equation. Equation is positive. That means we will get a minimum point. So, our graph should be like this. Now, you can see x is minus 2. That means minus 2 should be here and 5 is here. You can see that. 5 is here. Now, what they have told you, see this. <coughs> Greater than equal to 0. That means we have to move towards the positive side. This way. So here what we will get? X should be less than equal to minus 2. And here it will come. X should be greater than equal to 5. Now comes to this point. Come here, we can see 3 is here, 7 is here. That means 3 is this side. And 7 is this side. So what we will get now? See this, sign is less than. That means we have to move towards this side. Less than side, that means towards the negative. So here we will get x should be greater than 3 and x should be less than 7. Now, so that means if you go for now, can we go for the ranges? Okay. Now, we will do that only. You can see here. First, we will make like this. So here what is x is here less than equal to again less than equal to. Here they have what they have given x is 
less than equal to minus 2 x should be less than equal to minus 2 x should be less than equal to minus 2 and here comes x is greater than equal to 5 so that means 5 will come here so we can see here 5 is there and here minus 2 is there that means there is a no relation between these two hmm? now comes 2 5 and 3 again same thing we will go for that x should be greater than equal to or you can say greater than equal to just we will write that only so you can see here x should be greater than equal to 5 x should be greater than equal to 5 here. and here it comes less than so less than 3 x should be greater than 3 so that means it will not both are greater so here it will come as greater that means these are not your combination There is no combination between them. Now comes to 5 and 7. Just we will check it. So here x is there. If we write x is greater than or equal to 5. And here we will write less than 7. Yes, it's true. That means this is your range now. For this two. Now can we go for this and this? We have to check it every criteria. So here we can say x is less than equal to minus again minus 2 will come at the right side and this is x is greater than 3. So again positive number comes at the left side that means this is not your range. And here we will check it x is less than or equal to minus 2 less than or equal to minus 2 and here comes x is less than 7 x is less than 7 so here both the signs are different so therefore this is not a range therefore our range is only this so like this we have to